Hello, my name is Mooney and this is Mooney Chara Yoga. Thank you so much for clicking in today. Mm, we're going to do a intermediate strength vinyasa flow, even power vinyasa flow you could call it session. Nothing too wild, but definitely some strong stuff, focusing mostly on our legs. Not much for the arms and shoulders, apart from the occasional chaturanga, occasional high plank to low plank. And let's begin. We'll come standing to the front of your mat actually. Let's start standing ankle bones together. Start as we mean to finish. Some people call this mountain pose. Um, I don't. <laughs> I call it samasta to he in Sanskrit. But it's like a mountain pose, sort of. We're standing very upright, relaxing your shoulders back and down. Actually not relaxing, actively pulling the shoulders back and down. Looking straight ahead, which for me is Six stories up in Nara Valley. Breathing in and out through your nose. Remember, breathe with your lungs, not with your stomach. So expand your ribcage as you breathe in, contracting as you breathe out. And we're going to flow through some sun salutations. So now it's our A and B from here. And then some other strong leg postures after that. So let's begin. Inhale, raise your arms up, stretch up, look up to your thumbs. And exhale, forward bending all the way down. Inhale, head up, it's just a halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat, bend your knees, let's step back, and we're going to go high plank to low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog, point your toes, and exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards when you come to down dog, pretty much every time. And we'll stay just a couple of breaths here. Remember, deep inhales, long exhales. Let's stay two more breaths, fingers are spread nice and wide. Feet are hip distance apart, downwards facing dog. Then let's inhale, head up, bending both knees. You can jump or step between your hands to the halfway lift. Remember, it's not a forward bend, halfway lift. Exhale, the forward bend now. Inhale, raise your arms up, stretch up, look into your thumbs. And exhale, samas to the head, looking straight ahead. Do it again. Inhale, the raise up. Exhale, forward bend all the way down. And now head up, find the halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, hands are down, we're stepping back. It's high plank to low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards. And we'll stay five breaths this time. One. Two. If you're a little bit observant, you might notice my cool mat with my name printed on it. Custom, customized mat. Pretty awesome. Three. They're not sponsoring the video, but the company is called Life Form, in case you're interested. <laughs> and five, and now head up, bend your knees, jump a step. It's a halfway lift. Exhale, the forward bend. No, I don't own it. And now raise the arms up, stretch up, look up. Don't know the company. Exhale, so master the head, looking straight ahead. Do it again. I right, own the mat though. And now stretch up. Exhale, forward bend all the way down. And now head up to halfway lift. And exhale, hands are down. Let's jump a step. We're going to go high plank, low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Again, tiny step forwards. And just three breaths this time. One. Two. And three, inhale, head up, let's bend your knees, jump a step to the halfway lift. Exhale, the forward bend, inhale, raise your arms up, stretch up, look to your thumbs. And exhale, samas to the head, looking straight ahead. I'm going to start my fancy exercise watch so I can record my yoga session. Get some points for it. Okay, here goes again. And high raise up, stretch up, look up. Exhale, forward bending all the way down. Garmin's not sponsoring this session either. And now head up to halfway lift. Exhale, hands are down. We're stepping back. High plank to low plank. <laughs> Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Sorry if it sounds a little bit like a circus, but it's not. We're in serious business now. Three breaths again. One. Two. Fingers are spread nice and wide. And then three. And now head up, bend your knees. Let's double step. It's a halfway lift. Exhale, the forward bend. Inhale, raise your arms. Look to your thumbs. And exhale, samas to the heat. Looking straight ahead. Again. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, forward bend. And now head up, halfway lift. And exhale, hands are down, jump a step, high plank, low plank. Let's call it chaturanga next time. Inhale up, dog, point your toes. Exhale, downwards facing dog. 
Try to step forwards. One, two, and three. And now head up, knees a bend. It's jump a step. It's a halfway lift. Exhale the forward bend and I'll raise your arms up, look into your thumbs. And exhale, some ass to the heat. Looking straight ahead. Let's do it again. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, forward bend. And I'll head up to the halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, stepping back to chaturanga. So all the way down to low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Tiny step forwards. One. Two. Remember, this session's only going to be about 20 minutes long. Maybe. <laughs> Three, and inhale, head up, bend your knees, jump a step, it's a halfway lift. Exhale to fold, and inhale, raise your arms, look into your thumbs, and exhale, samasthiti. We're going to do two more. Inhale, raise up, stretch up, look up, exhale, forward, bend all the way down. And now head up, it's a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, stepping back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards to five breaths. One, two, three. In case you're wondering why we keep doing three breaths and why we keep doing five breaths, the answer is four, five. I've got no idea. And now head up, bend your knees, jump a step. It's a halfway lift. Exhaling to fold, just to see if you're listening actually. And now raise your arms up, stretch up, look to your thumbs. And exhale, some master heat. Okay, serious business now. Last one. And now raise up, stretch up. Exhale, forward bend all the way down. And now head up to halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees. Let's step back. See if we can go chaturanga for three breaths now. We'll come down to chaturanga. One reason we're here is just so I can listen and check that I turn the stove off while I was cooking lunch this year. <laughs> Two. And then three. Inhale, up dog. Straighten your arms, point your toes. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards. For five breaths again. One, two. So we've got a lot of strength in our legs here. We're pushing the weight back to your lower body towards hips downwards using your arms, but your legs are the ones that are really doing all the work. Four, and then five. And now head up, let's bend your knees, jump or step. It's a halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold, and now raise your arms, looking to your thumbs, and exhale, some master the heat. Looking straight ahead. Second part, Surya Namaskar B. Let's inhale, bend your knees, lots, raise your arms. Exhale, straighten your legs to forward bend. And now head up, it's a halfway lift. Exhale, step back, it's Chaturanga again. Inhale for upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Inhale, we're stepping the right foot forwards to Warrior One, Virabhadrasana One. So front leg is bent, back leg is straight. We'll stay here for a moment, press into your back foot. Press your palms together and look up. Try not to be tricked into the arms being wide apart or locking your fingers. Just press them together. That's one big inhale. As you exhale, hands on the ground. Step back, it's Chaturanga again. <sighs> inhale up dog. Exhale downwards facing dog. Nice, inhale, left foot between the hands. And we'll do this side a bit slow as well to match the other side. So front foot's flat, back foot's flat. Palms are touching, look up. That's one huge inhale, and exhale, hands on the ground, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downwards, facing dog. And we'll do five breaths here as well. One, two. Textbook says the gaze point is back towards your navel, towards your tummy button. But that's quite hard, so don't be scared just to look at your knees or even your ankles. Four. And in five, and now head up with the knees bent, jump a step. It's halfway lift. Exhale the forward bend, then inhale, bend your knees heaps, raise your arms into the squat. And exhale, samasthiti. Do it again. Inhale for squat, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, straighten your legs to forward bend. And now head up, it's a halfway lift. And exhale, jump a step, chaturanga. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. And now step the right foot between the hands. It's going to be warrior one. Again, stretch up, look up. And exhale, hands down, stepping back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Left foot. Inhale, step the left foot between the hands. 
This one, warrior one, stretch up, look up, press your palms, and exhale, hands down, step back, it's chaturanga. Inhale, upwards facing dog, and exhale, downwards facing dog, with that tiny step forwards, for five breaths, one, two, three, four, and five, and now head up, knees a bit, jump or step to halfway lift, Exhale the forward bend, inhale bend your knees, raise your arms, and exhale some rest of the head. Let's do twice more. Inhale bend your knees, look up to your thumbs, exhale straighten your legs to forward bend. Inhale head up, it's a halfway lift. Exhale hands are down, jump a step to chaturanga. Inhale upwards facing dog, and exhale downwards facing dog. Nice, inhale step the right foot between your hands. We've got warrior one, raise your arms up. And exhale, hands down, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Inhale, left foot between the hands. Got worry, one stretch up, look up. Exhale, hands down, step back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step for five breaths. One. Now you notice when I come down to Chaturanga, or you may notice, <laughs> that I pause there for a split second just to make it a definite movement, a definite posture. Sometimes people kind of merge upward dog, down dog, Chaturanga and, and Shavasana all into one. <laughs> but we're trying to keep them separate, not so much into merging. <laughs> and now head up, bend your knees, jump or step between your hands. <laughs> it's a halfway lift. Exhale the forward bend, inhaling to squat, bend your knees, heaps, raise your arms, look up, and exhale some master head. Just like when we do Ashtanga Yoga, let's go hands on your hips now, step your feet hip distance apart, exhale, we're folding over, trying to capture your big toes with your peace fingers, and now head up straight on your arms, and then exhale, strongly flaring your elbows to the sides, and get a big forward bend here, pull against your big toes, hardly anybody pulls their big toes off, so pull pretty strong. Pretty safe. <laughs> Two more deep breaths, folding over top of the head points to the ground. Because of spinal injuries, my back's not such, such a good example of this posture, but we're aiming head towards the shins, elbows to the sides. Then inhale, head up, get a nice flat back. Release your hands to the mat, and we'll step back to high plank. From high plank, we're gonna try it with your ankles together, I'll do it this way around. With your ankles together, roll to the right hand side and make it side plank. Simple as that, right hand down, left hand up. Lift your hips really high, you can even look up towards your left hand, that top hand if your neck allows it. If it doesn't allow it, look straight ahead, or downwards even. What about the leg on top? Can you lift the leg up a little bit? Might as well, two breaths to go. Nothing else to do, one breath to go. Inhale here, exhale, hands and feet to the ground again. And we'll flow, that means high plank to low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. From down dog, inhale, come forwards to high plank again. That's when I swap sides. And roll to the left side. Make the left arm side plank. Stretch the right arm up. If your neck allows it, look up. Which is easier than it looks actually, looking up at your top hand. Or lift the top leg, the right leg. Find your balance, breathing, smiling, talking. Just two, just three breaths to go, what am I saying? Now it's two to go. One to go. Huge inhale, exhale, hands and feet to the ground, and then we flow, high plank, low plank. Pause. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Easy as that, tiny step forwards, only two breaths and down dog. One to go. And then I'll head up, bend your knees, it's jump or step between the hands. It's a halfway lift. Exhale the forward bend, inhale, raise your arms up, stretch up, look to your thumbs. And we'll flow straight away. Exhale, forward bending all the way down. And now head up, just a halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, hands are down, stepping back to plank. High plank this time, not low plank. Remember it's called RIP. RIP means, it means lots of things, but in this case it means rest in plank. We're just chilling out here for a bit. 
trying to avoid dropping your pelvis and kind of collapsing between your arms. Just staying very strong. Pushing the ground away, even slightly bending your elbows because it makes it a little bit better. <coughs> Maybe better in this case means harder. It's only three breaths to go. I'm doing it as well. Two to go. One to go. It's getting warm here. <laughs> nice big inhale as you exhale, come down to low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards and we're two breaths in down dog. One breath to go. Let's go for the right leg now. Inhale, lift the right leg up. That's pretty much as high as you can. Check your left foot's pointing straight ahead. Right leg is lifted. One breath to go. Nice big inhale here. Exhale, step in between your hands to find a low lunge. Now maybe you get there in one go, maybe you don't. You take several goes, that doesn't matter. Low lunge in this case means hands on the ground, front leg bent, and back leg straight. Let's hold another breath here. Then we're going to twist. Let's try inhale your right arm up to the ceiling. Stretch up, look up. Towards your right thumb. I've just been cooking in here hardcore, so it's really warm in this room. <laughs> and now doing yoga in here, it's like doing yoga in India in summer. Big inhale, exhale, bring the right hand down, and let's try left arm up to the ceiling. You can put your right hand on the big toe side of that bottom foot, of the front foot, sorry. <laughs> Not the bottom foot. Big inhale here. Exhale, raised hand down, one to either side of the front foot. Step back to plank, that's easy, that's flow. High plank, low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards, back to our legs again. Inhale, raise the left leg high. Find where the leg stops and then lift it higher. Try and keep your right foot, the ground of the foot, pointing straight ahead. Inhale. Exhale, stepping between your hands. One go to get that foot up there. Just gently placing it down. Keep your hands on the mat for a breath. <clears throat> then we'll twist. It's always the little toe hand first. So inhale, left hand up to the ceiling. Look up to your thumb. Inhale there. Exhale, left hand down to the big toe side of the foot. Stretch the right arm up to the ceiling. Big stretch straight up. Gaze could be forwards, downwards, upwards. Just balancing their breathing with the back leg straight. Inhale, exhale, raised hand down, one either side of the front foot. Try stepping back to plank, not down with dog. So just take the left leg back, and then flow. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downwards facing dog. <coughs> Legs again, inhale, raise your right leg super high. And exhale, step through between your hands, finding a low lunge. <coughs> and now stretch your right arm up to the ceiling. Now the challenge, right leg goes back. To form a side plank. Again, this time left hand down, right hand up. Challenge your balance, lift your hips as high as you can and look up towards your right thumb. See if you can. Just two breaths to go. So that was low lunge to side plank. Inhale here, exhale both hands are down and then we flow high to low. Inhale upwards facing dog and exhale downwards facing dog. Let's find the other leg, the left leg. Inhale, raise your left leg super high. Exhale the step between your hands. I'll spin around. <coughs> and left arm up to the ceiling in the low lunge. And the other side's a bit harder. Take your left foot back, it's harder to balance. Stack your feet somehow. Lift your hips as high as you can. And maybe look up at your left hand, try not to fall over. Yes, got it. <laughs> it's good when you get it for the camera. <laughs> Two breaths to go. One breath to go. Inhale. Exhale, both hands are on the mat. Let's flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Nice, two more breaths and down dog. One to go. From the down dog, inhale, raise your right leg super high, just for one breath. Exhale, step in between your hands. It's crescent lunge this time, so that means raising your arms up. Hands are wider apart than your mat. Bend the front leg, but keep the back leg straight. If you can see my back leg, which hopefully you can, try and avoid buckling it, bending it. 
We want a super straight leg looking up. Looking up with your eyes, not with your leg. <laughs> Sorry. Inhale here. Exhale, hands are on the mat. Step back, but this time keep the right leg raised when you step back. Go high plank to low plank. Then drop your foot. Inhale for up dog. Exhale for down dog. Too easy. Time to step forwards. Left leg. Inhale, raise the left leg super high. Exhale to step between your hands. It's crescent lunge. Inhale, raise the arms up. Keep your balance. Straighten the back leg. Raise your arms. Strong arms helps the balance. Never don't buckle the back leg. Inhale like this. Exhale, hands are on the mat. Step back. Keep the left leg raised super high. It's high plank to low plank. Then drop your foot. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Nice, tiny step forwards. And it's two breaths here. One to go. Now right leg again. When's it going to finish? And now raise your right leg super high. Bend the knee this time. Foot drops to the left. Try flipping over. Bring your foot gently to the ground. Feet are parallel. Big toes in line. Lift your hips and stretch the right arm over your head. Now another really strong thing for your legs here. Pushing down to lift up as much as you can. We're not so much doing a big upward bow back bend here, so don't touch your right hand on the ground. Just lift it over your head. One breath to go. Let's try exhaling to prepare and an inhale to come back. Both hands are down. Raise your right leg, check it's your right leg to the ceiling. Step between the hands and we're back to low lunge again. We're repeating some of the stuff we just did, which is stretch the right arm up to the ceiling, look up to your thumb, and then step your right foot back to side plank. Two breaths. One breath to go. Big, big inhale here. Exhale, both hands come to the mat, and then we flow high to low. Inhale, up dog, and exhaling downwards, facing dog. Nice, tiny step forwards, and then we find a little wardrobe adjustment. Then we find the left side, and I raise your left leg super high. Bend the left foot drops to the right. Can you flip right over? Gently, gently bring the foot to the ground, feet are parallel, lifting your hips and stretch the left arm over the top. Once again, really strong with your legs, so lift your pelvis high. Just one breath to go. Nice stretching here. This is strengthening and stretching our legs all the way through here. Exhale to rip here, and now to come back, both hands are down, and raise your left leg, check it's your left leg, not your right leg. Stepping between your hands to low lunge, as I swap sides, <laughs> and then stretch your left arm up to the ceiling, and then your left foot back to side plank. Lifting your hips, ideally stacking your legs if that's possible. It's only two breaths to go. It's definitely getting nice and warm in here. <laughs> One breath to go. Big, big inhale, looks like I'm working hard. Exhale, both hands are down, and then we float. High plank, low plank, pause for a split second. Inhale, upwards dog, straighten your arms. And exhaling, downwards. Facing dog, tiny step forwards. Just two more breaths. So definitely had a lunge focus going on here. We'll just keep doing it one more time. Inhale, raise your right leg super high. Exhale, the step between your hands, crescent lunging. Raise the arms up, stretch up, look up. Inhale, exhale, palms come to your chest. Let's challenge our balance now. We'll push forwards to make it warrior three. Standing on your straight right leg, and just keep your palms into your chest. We're just focusing on the balance only. Obviously, if you want to do something with your arms, you can wave them anywhere you like. But ideally, torso and left leg parallel to the ground. Hopefully my left leg's getting a little bit close to parallel to the ground. Take a big inhale like this. As you exhale, we're dropping back into low lunge. Again, hands on the ground, tiptoes of your left foot on the ground. And then we're gonna inhale and stretch your right arm up to the ceiling. And then step your right foot back to the side plank again. Oh no, this is terrible. So many side planks. One breath to go. And there I, there I was telling you at the start, we're not going to use our arms and shoulders very much. Like, anyway, inhale, exhale, both hands down, and it's flow high to low. Inhale, up dog. And exhaling, downwards. Facing dog, tiny step forwards. Just take two breaths here and down dog. 
I'm ready to go. Inhale, raise your left leg as high as you can. Exhale to step between the hands. We've got crescent lunge. Raise the arms up, stretch up, look up. Nice, exhale, bring the palms to your chest. And with a little bounce, let's push up to warrior three. Find your balance, super straight standing leg, super straight raised leg. Keep your gaze on the stationary point. Vertebra just in a three. Two breaths to go. And if you fall over, if you wobble out, just come back into it. Doesn't matter because you're probably at home by yourself. No one can see. <laughs> you can do anything. Nice big inhale like that. Exhale, gently drop back into the low lunge. Tiptoes of your back foot. When I swap sides. And then left arms up to the ceiling. Look up to your thumb. And then left foot steps back to side plank. Somehow or other that seemed a little bit not symmetrical to the other side, but hopefully it all worked out. <laughs> One breath to go. Inhale, exhale, both hands are down. And then we flow high to low, tiny pause and low plank. Inhale, upwards facing dog, point your toes. Then exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards last time and down dog. Just two more breaths. Then inhale, head up, let's bend your knees. Step to the middle of your mat. Come to a seated position with your legs stretched out straight. Sitting in Dandasana. Sit as upright as you can. And hands on the mat next to your hips. Real strong, chest coming forwards between your arms. So when using our legs a lot, active with the muscles. Now we'll try stretching them a little bit. So inhale, stretch out over your straight legs. Aim for your big toes if you can reach. With your first two fingers, lift your chest away from your legs. And then exhale, fold over your straight legs. This point of pulling from your toes, once again, no one pulls it, hardly anyone pulls their toes off. So it's good to pull strong. If you think you can reach further, maybe interlace the fingers past your feet. Lock your hands together. Get a stronger assistance from your arms that way. Big forward bend. So the muscles are working hard in our legs to do those standing postures. And now they're equally working hard but being stretched instead. Bless the back side of our legs. Just say two more breaths. Paschimottanasana. Remember straight legs is good for this posture. Try not to bend your knees excessively when you're doing forward bending. The improvement of forward bend doesn't happen between January and February, but it will definitely happen. <laughs> and release your hands, and they'll come up. And just bring the soles of your feet together. I'll turn the face of the camera for this one. Bring the soles of your feet together, and we're going to try threading our arms underneath our legs. Hopefully. I'm in the camera for this one. And this is going to be maybe holding your feet if you get that far down. Exhale, folding forwards. Bring your head down towards your feet. You can obviously stay here as long as you'd like, but I'm just going to stay two more breaths. <laughs> Sorry for the varying volume. I still tend to talk loud when I turn away from the camera, even though the microphone is attached to my ears. <laughs> One day I'll get it. And now bring yourself upright, leave your, I'll do the opposite side to you, leave the right arm under your leg and stretch the left arm up and over. Nice big stretch into your side body. Inhale, exhale, left hand down, thread it back underneath, let's go right arm up and over. Nice big side stretch. Inhaling and then exhale, bring that raised hand down, unthread the low arm. Let's extend our legs out to lie flat on your back. Now, it's definitely not time for sleeping yet. There's still heaps of time to go. <laughs> but let's just lie down flat for a moment. And doing a little sh some shoulder bridges. We did lots of forward bending there, so some shoulder bridges will be good. Bend your knees, heaps, feet are flat on the ground. Press into your feet to lift up. Get onto your shoulders, interlace your fingers together. Straight arms underneath your body. We'll do two shoulder bridges. And then... One Urdhva Dhanurasana, which is upwards bow, a spinal twist, and then we'll finish it almost at the end now. 
and how exhale lowering down, release your hands. Do it again, strong into your feet, lift up. Get up onto your shoulders, interlace your fingers. Maybe you can get your thighs parallel to the ground. Pushing strongly down with your legs, extending your hips. Inhale, exhale to come down. Now sitting up for upwards, but it's kind of, the setup's good, whether you do it or not. Hands are under your shoulders, as next to your ears. Elbows point to the ceiling. And the secret is super strong legs. Don't worry about your arms. Just super strong legs to lift yourself up and then bring the weight back over your hands. Sometimes people like tippy toeing this posture, but flat footed is pretty much good for everything. Stay flat footed. Big, nice stretch into your spine, into your chest, into your arms, into your shoulders. And just two breaths to go. Vertical down the asana, upwards facing bow. Nice big inhale there as you exhale. Gently go chin towards your chest. And then bring yourself back down to the mat. It's kind of funny if you like that sort of thing. Let's try stretching arms out at shoulder height. I think I'm just out of the camera with my arm here, but I think the rest of me will be there. <laughs> bring the legs to the tabletop, drop both knees to the right, and look to your left shoulder. Trick here is both shoulders are on the mat, but your left hip is stacked on top of the right hip. Twisting the part of your spine that's really hard to twist. up to the ceiling, bring your knees upright again, and go the other way, drop your hips to the left, look back to the right side. So hopefully, all going well, I'll now start uploading a yoga, a yoga class just once a week at this stage, um, but I'll do that either every Thursday or every Friday, so one of those little, one of those two days it'll appear. And then we'll see how we go from there. And now bring these up right again. Arms are in close and send your legs out long and straight. Final Shavasana now means taking your feet like mat distance apart. Your arms can be even wider than that. And nice deep breaths in now through your nose. It's a relaxing time, relaxing, not thinking. Don't worry about your to-do list. Don't worry about anything right now, just breathing. I'll stay with you for a few breaths and then I'll leave you to take your shavasana as long as you like. It's true that some teachers just have really short shavasanas. <laughs> but shavasana should be at least at least five minutes long. <laughs> say at this point. Thank you so much for clicking in today and coming along for a little yoga session and as I said we'll be back again next week for another one. Thank you so much. Namaste. Hare Krishna.